Hi, everybody. My name is Ben Cutler. I'm uh, one of our solution specialists here at WinPeer, and uh, we're uh, going to walk you through a series, uh, a 10 part series uh, about master data management and what it means to master data. So we're going to keep this very brief um, and we're going to drill right uh, right into it. So again, my name is Ben Cutler. I've been mastering data since 2015. I'm going to walk you through a short demonstration today. And before I do that, uh, the topic of today's video is getting started with master data management. So if we talk about master data management, what we want to do here is really look at mastering data, right? There are master data management uh, processes, systems, concepts, strategies, uh, and a lot more to know. Implement implementation styles, there, there, there's so much there. What we're going to drill into today uh, is the process of mastering data. And that's going to be different from organization to organization, uh, you know, uh, business department to business department, use case to use case, uh, data domain to data domain. But what it means to master data is essentially uh, once some set of data has been mastered, it is linking uh, or merging and, and deduplicating new data with this mastered uh, set of data. So that's what we're going to look at today. We're going to look at WinPeer's new clean and match uh, master data management solution. We're not going to go too deep into detail about the solution itself. We're just going to look at a very simple high level process uh, of uh, importing uh, data into our master data management system from multiple disparate systems with different uh, structures and different content. Uh, and we're going to look at pulling all of that data together, doing some uh, cleanup of the data and, and doing some merging uh, of that uh, of those data sets. So let's go ahead and jump uh, right into it here. Again, the simple process uh, of mastering data uh, or uh, implementing master data management is extracting uh, data from a variety of different systems. Uh, typically, uh, more than one uh, disparate system could even be Excel or some uh, data lakes and data, data warehouses and things like that. Uh, but again, uh, we're, we're, we're kind of collecting or extracting data from one or multiple systems. Uh, we are uh, loading or importing that data into our system. Uh, we are doing some things to analyze the data, to look at the data, to get hands on with the data, to clean the data, normalize, standardize, transform the data, things like that, uh, to prepare the data for its target system. Uh, and then again, we're mastering the data and again, taking data, you know, in different uh, structures with, with different content uh, from different you know, di disparate systems here. We're bringing it together and doing actually the matching and the merging and the cleanup there to uh, prep the data for its target system, right? So uh, yeah, let's jump right into the demo here. You should be able to see my screen. Uh, we're going to go ahead and log out of the system here just to show the uh, login process. And uh, we're going to keep this very brief and high level. So what does it look like to master data using the WinPeers Clean and Match Master Data Management Solution? Well, we're going to start by logging into the system. Uh, and that's going to be very quick, uh, very, very simple. Uh, on the left side of the screen here, we're uh, on our data list uh, module here. This is where we're going to be able to find all of the data that's being processed within the system here. Uh, so we're currently not seeing any data. We're going to start with step one, which is we're assuming we've extracted uh, or collected data from other disparate systems and databases and you know Excel sheets and things like that. We've done some things to gather the data. Now we're going to import the data uh, into our system here. So let's start with import new. Here we're going to start by importing files. We're going to click here. We're going to choose the files. Uh, and this, this first part here is going to be very, very simple. Uh, so the uh, we've chosen the uh, files. Uh, the business use case here is that we have some, uh, we have a, essentially a single customer record uh, coming from three different systems. That's coming from a billing system like an ERP. That's coming from an old CRM. And that's coming from a new CRM. Right. And what we're going to see throughout this example is we have three sources of data between those three sources of data. We have four customer records, all of which really belong to the same customer, um, all of which have different IDs. The, the, again, the, these are, you know, this is uh, this is customer data from three disparate systems that is going to be different in structure and in content. So the customer name, the contact name, the, the, the contact information, the address, the IDs, all of that information may or may not 
mismatch from one system to another. So we've done some things to import the data here. Very simple. Uh, we're going to jump over to the clean step to do some simple cleanup of the data. So we can do this data set by data step. So up top here, I'm just going to start by selecting my data set. Now we're going to go into each module more in detail uh, throughout this uh, short video series here. But today, again, it's just kind of a very high level look. So we're going to keep this very high level for now. We've chosen a source of data. We're going to go ahead and load what we refer to as a clean matrix. Uh, and this just allows us to do some general cleanup of the data. So we've imported some data from the old CRM. We're applying uh, a, a group of saved uh, cleansing settings, so to speak. And really what we're doing here is something very simple. We're removing some of the noise that might, might exist from within that data set. So we're removing trailing spaces, leading spaces, uh, and non-printable characters. Just a very, very simple example here. So we've chosen our data set. We've actually chosen a saved configuration of cleansing settings. So the settings have been applied here to remove trailing spaces, field by field, and also leading spaces, and also non-printable characters. Now the user is just simply going to run clean. Uh, that job is going to be processed in the background, and the user can uh, move on to process other data sets. That's essentially what that next step will look like. Now, what we're going to see at the end here is we're actually going to run this as an automated workflow that's already going to be, has already been set up. So, again, we're, we're going step by step here just to kind of give you a sneak peek of what this is going to look like from within the system. But we've actually already taken these components and we've put them into an automated workflow, and that's going to give us our results. So that's a quick look at what it takes to clean the data. Very simple, uh, very, very easy. This is built for non-technical users. Let's go ahead and take a look at what it takes to set up the match configuration. The match configuration is where we're taking data from one or multiple sources of data. Uh, and if there are multiple sources of data, we're doing some field mapping uh, from one source to the other. Uh, and then we're also telling the system how to find the matches. And that means which columns to look at to do the matching. That also means what kind of algorithms and what kind of thresholds, and if we're using knowledge-based libraries or doing any blocking, and there are a variety of potential settings there. But again, we're gonna keep it very high level, uh, and we're gonna go into this, uh, we're gonna move through this pretty quickly here. So on the match configuration step, we're gonna load or create a new configuration. We're gonna go ahead and use the existing configuration. That's this one here, Mastering Data 61322. We've loaded the configuration, and by loading the configuration, the system has loaded the data sources. Let's go to next. By loading the, the, the saved configuration there, step two here is done for us. This is where we map fields uh, or columns uh, from one source to other sources. So here we can see at the very top, we have some data from new CRM. We have uh, some fields uh, rather from the old CRM, and we have some fields from the billing system. So the fields from the new CRM are the ones here down below. And then again, you can, you can essentially see some of the mapping that we're doing from source to source. So uh, if you look here, we've got company, and then company, and then company. And this has all been done for us because it is a saved configuration, but it is very point and click, so this is very simple. We're just saving a few seconds uh, by saving the configuration in advance. We're going to go ahead and click Next. At this next step here, these are the, the match configuration settings. Uh, this is where we, the, the user will set up one or multiple groups of uh, match conditions. Each match group can contain one or multiple match conditions. So this is highly configurable. There's a lot of detail here. This is pretty complex stuff, but it is very simple for a non-technical user once you've had some general training with the system. Again, we've saved this as a saved configuration, so it's set up for us, and this just contains a single group with a single condition, and the matching is gonna look at the company name, it's gonna look for a 94% uh, threshold, or 94% minimum level of similarity of company name from data source to data source to data source, and that's uh, really sufficient at this stage. So we're gonna go ahead and click Next. Uh, and from here, we have the configuration name, we have the match name, which is simply going to be the name of the new file uh, after the data has been uh, mapped and matched, uh, and we've produced some results. Uh, and then we're simply going to uh, update the configuration if we need to, 
in to start matching. And to start matching, that's going to give us our results uh, very, very quickly here. System is going to do the processing in the background. You can see it's doing its job. And to find that data set, we're just going to move over to data lists, where again, we can see the data that has been imported. This is a new copy. That was the example that we set up at the clean uh, step there after we did some cleansing with the old CRM data. And then the match results. That's what that's what we just worked through here, is that we imported the data, we took a look at how to do some cleansing, uh, we, we took a look at what it's going to take to set up the match configuration, and then once we've done that, we can produce match results. And that's what we're looking at here. Our system provides the group ID, uh, the source name, uh, you know, some flagging for master records or selections, and our system also provides uh, very granular scoring, match scoring. I don't want to go too deep. Again, we don't have too much time. We want to keep this down to, you know, a short form uh, video here in just less than 10 minutes. So you can see the group ID up top and the source name. So we know where the data came from. That helps with data lineage. Uh, and again, group ID here. Anytime the group ID is duplicated, that means we have duplicate records. So we have all four records here belonging to group ID number one. And if we look over here on the right at the company name, we can see these are all the same company names. So the system found the duplicates and it grouped the duplicates into a single group of duplicates where, where uh, we can then uh, set master records and set up the rules and priorities uh, to merge and survive uh, these records here. So that's just a quick example, step by step at, at, in terms of what it would take to set up the system. Now, if we come down here to data flows, we've already got a, uh, a flow set up. This is where we can actually take those individual components, which would contain the data sources, would contain the, uh, the, the saved configurations on how to clean each data source. Uh, it, it takes the saved configurations in terms of how to normalize each data source, transform uh, the, kind of the content and the structure of each data source, uh, and the match configuration, which does the, uh, the mapping of fields and columns from one source to another and tells the system which columns to use for matching and at what levels of similarity and things like that. And then within the same flow here, we can also set up the rules and priorities uh, to handle the uh, merge and survivorship components, which you might think of as, as deduplication. So we've set up the flow here, which says that we have three sources of data coming from the new CRM, old CRM, and the billing system. Uh, each of those data sets is going to go through a cleansing routine uh, there, from there, we have uh, some rules set up to do the mapping and the matching of fields and columns across sources to look for duplicate records. Then we're, we're simply going to set a master record. This is a, this is a completely automated data flow here. And I want to give you kind of a sneak peek at what this would look like. So here I've set it up. You can see who set it up. I'm going to go ahead and run that. And by running it, what I need to do here is I've created some input which is essentially groups of fields or groups of columns. So I'm going to take the data flow with groups of columns and headers, uh, and I'm just going to assign uh, the input data uh, from here. So new CRM, those fields are set up to handle this data set. Old CRM, those fields are set up to handle this data set, and then billing to uh, billing. And then you're simply going to run the data flow. So check OK, come back to data list, the system does all the processing in the background, and here we have uh, our results that way. And you can see the, uh, the data has been matched. So uh, I hope this has been useful. Again, getting started with master data management, a uh, very simple high-level process where we're looking at what it takes to actually master data from the WinPierce Clean and Match Master Data Management System. My name is Ben Cutler. I appreciate your time today. For more information, visit winpeer.com. And thanks again for joining us. Please stay tuned for more.